I've been seeing a lot of posts like this recently saying that the UFC is scripted or that it's more like the WWE these days than a real sport. And today we're going to dive into that. Spoiler alert, some of you guys aren't going to like my take on this. Stick around to hear what I have to say about the UFC feeling more and more like pro wrestling these days. I'm Wyatt, and this is Fight Society. All right, guys, so the conversation going around a little bit on Twitter for the past few weeks that I've been seeing is, and I know most of it's a joke, but the UFC being more and more like the WWE as time goes on. And I actually agree, and there's actually a good reason for this. Now, the disclaimer that I want to throw out there first is that, no, the UFC is not fake. The UFC is not scripted results. I fought myself. I know how real fighting goes. And the WWE is just not that. And the UFC is not pro wrestling, okay? The reason that I say the UFC is becoming more like WWE, and actually it kind of always has been, is because combat sports is a complete different category than NFL, NBA, MLB, NHL, all of that. Now, this is because those sports don't have a built-in fan base that is a fan because they played those sports as a kid. You have people that played one year of Little League and they're baseball fans for life. With a lot of sports like baseball and basketball being like non-violent, you have people that are a little bit turned off to violence able to become fans of those sports because they're easy to digest, the rule sets are fairly simple, and you could say the same thing about fighting. You could say like, yeah, I know when one guy's getting his ass beat and when one guy's winning. But from a technical standpoint and a scoring standpoint and understanding damage and control time and kickboxing versus Muay Thai and jujitsu versus Sambo, to the average fan, to the casual fan, which makes up the majority of MMA watchers, or UFC fans at least, it's easier to digest other sports. Now, that means that the UFC needs to create characters, personalities, and storylines that are appealing to the, the casual fan base. And I don't mean create as in write a, a Vince McMahon script and play it out on TV. I mean that they need to identify the fighters that are going to bring in the biggest amount of casual fans because as much as we don't like to think about this, us as the hardcores really make up like probably 20% of the audience, maybe less. The vast majority of people that are tuning in to UFC fights don't tune in every weekend. They tune in for the big ones. They tune in for the pay-per-views. There's not a ton of people watching Apex cards every single weekend like, like you and me. Something to consider is that because many fans, a big portion of the fans are casuals, you have to have WWE-type promo and storylines that will draw those people in. Now, you have people like Conor McGregor, people like Sean Strickland, people like Ilya Taporia now. that has They, they captivate a, a certain fan base and get that fan base super fired up to support them. The reason that that's a big deal is because, for the most part, to a lot of fans, a lot of fighters, most fighters, are just interchangeable mediocrities, as Chael Sonnen would say. And when it just comes to a jab across, a calf kick, and a, and a double leg, and a rear naked choke, everybody's the same to most fans. I'm not saying it is to me, and I'm not saying it is to you. But to most fans, it's the exact same. Now, the thing that separates fighters from each other is the personality and the storylines. Connor versus Khabib was the biggest fight in UFC history from a pay-per-view standpoint. And most people that tuned in to watch that fight could not tell you what Connor Connor's go-to is that he's that he's his left hand is what puts people out. Most people could not tell you what combat sambo is or know the fact that Khabib grew up doing it. And most, most people know the bus incident and the lead up to the fight with them talk with Connor talking tra trash to Khabib. Now, 
The reason that this is important to understand about most fans being casuals and not hardcores is because they're in the, the UFC is in the pay-per-view business. Now, the UFC is not in a they're not in a billions of dollars TV deal with a consistent loyal fan base like these other mainstream sports. The NFL is going to relatively stay at the same popularity. The MLB, the NBA, they go through ebbs and flows where it's a little less popular for five years, and then it's a little more popular. But the UFC critically needs to put on big, entertaining fights with big personalities. That's why they push people like Sean O'Malley, because Sean O'Malley appeals to a fan base that they're still trying to bring in. Now, that high school, college, early 20s, late teens, early 20s fan base that is very big on Sean O'Malley, like Nelk Boys fans, that's the fan base that the UFC is trying to pursue because people like me, I'm 25, but people from, say, 25 to 40 that have been UFC fans, they already have us. We're already invested. People like us that watch the Apex cards every weekend, even if we don't like the fucking Apex People that watch the Apex cards every weekend, people that are going to watch regardless of who's on the card, they don't care about serving us. They care about the mainstream. They want ESPN to report on fights, and they want headlines and storylines, and those are people that have that bring in new fans to the sport, like Connor brought a ton of fans into the sport, and he got pushed very hard. And if you look back, Connor beat some amazing fighters, and I'm not taking away from what Connor did, but his rise to stardom and his push up the rankings was so incredibly fast. And the same thing goes for people like Sean O'Malley, where you have Sean O'Malley, no contests, Pedro Munoz, and gets into the rankings on that, if I remember correctly, and then goes all the way, for, and I think he was ranked 13, and he gets booked against the number one ranked bantamweight in the world in Peter Yan, and then wins a split decision, title shot, boom. Now, I'm not going to take away from the fact that he beat Peter Yan, because I do think he won that fight. And obviously, he KO'd Aljo, and I don't think it was an early stoppage. I thought it was a really good stoppage. But you can see somebody like him made it from unranked to title fight in th two or three fights where somebody like Marab is 10 wins in and still their next fight might not be for a title. I could see O'Malley going up against Taporia next. And then you got to have Marab fight like a Sandhagen or who else is at 35? Who's a big name at 35? Or I could, I could see Marab having to fight Sandhagen, or I could even see the winner of Song Yadong and Peter Yan jumping Marab to get into a title shot, or I could see them just giving Corey Sandhagen the title shot anyway. Now, the reason that I say this is because Marab is not somebody that sells fights, and he's not somebody that brings fans in. I mean, frankly, I mean, he brings in Georgian fans, but that's an incredibly small part of the population. And so I just want to compare those two, where you have Sean O'Malley, blazing hot rate race through the rankings up to a title shot. Marab's been just chilling there, winning fights. And then at 45, you have the same thing. You have Movsar, 8-0 in the UFC, but none of them are very exciting. He's got all decisions so far in the UFC. But then you have Ilya Taporia, who flies through the rankings. I think Ilya Taporia, yeah, somebody like Ilya Taporia who flies through the rankings. He goes Mitchell, Emmett, title shot. So two ranked fights to a title shot. Even though he's undefeated, I understand. But somebody like Movsar is 8-0, and and he's been in the rankings. And so that just shows you somebody like, like some big soccer team like Real Madrid is not going to bring Movsar out to their, to their games like we just saw Ilya do with this past weekend with the belt. And... This is the point that I'm getting at here is the UFC needs to sell pay-per-views and they need to bring in fans. So that's why it's more like WWE 
Because you guys have to understand that this is a fight promotion business. It's not the sports business. It's the sports entertainment business. And when you're somebody like the w, you're somebody like the UFC, and you need to bring people in, you have you need to have storylines and personalities, and that's something that's really similar to the WWE. Now, obviously, the difference between MMA and pro wrestling is the fact that the outcomes are predecided for pro wrestling, and the finishes are scripted, and all of that. There's storylines. There's a writers' room. And obviously, if that was the case in the UFC, Connor would have beat Dustin twice and gotten a title shot. Or, you know, Charles Oliveira would have beaten Islam because those are like the big stars. It's an unpopular opinion because people want UFC and MMA to be taken so seriously. And I understand that because of the sacrifices that our favorite fighters make and how much different it is from every other sport, how much harder it is than every other sport, and that it feels kind of like a more of a community of, oh, people that don't understand it think down on it, look down on MMA. Oh, they just fight. Look at the elbows. Look at the blood. I get that. And that's why the UFC fans, even though freaking we're at each other's necks all the time, and you guys are trying to kill me in the comments, it's still more of a community, like almost by need, because of we care about this sport that people outside of it could not care less about. And even still, some people think it's like barbaric. But whereas, oh, if you watch, oh, you're a soccer fan. I don't watch soccer, but soccer's fine. Or, oh, baseball's fine. I don't watch it, but I understand that you like it. But then people that don't like fighting, they're like, what? How could you watch such a thing? What the hell? So, and then with wrestling being scripted and predetermined outcomes, I understand the need to defend or the want to defend the sport like that. But in my opinion, it just is what it is. It's fight promotion. The thing that is going to promote fights is personalities and storylines. So there's my take. Although it might be a little unpopular, I hope that you guys understand where I'm coming from. The WWE and UFC, from a promotional standpoint, have much more in common than MMA fans are willing to admit to. Make sure to drop a like, leave a comment. I want to hear what you guys think. Thanks. If you like this video and you want more content just like this, click that subscribe button down below. If you want more content from me, go check out my weekly comedy podcast, The Hissy Fit Podcast, and go check out my personal channel, Wyatt's World. Go watch this suggested video, and I'll see you next time.